attorney, you have 57 of these barrels out there. You've sounded the alarm when it comes to unsafe nuclear power. What is the risk to the public here? Well, some of those barrels are underground with the barrel that exploded. Um, those, if they blow up like the previous one did, will still be confined in that waste isolation project. So the other barrels, though, are above ground and still at Los Alamos, which is uh, a, a major concern, because this material gets more and more unstable as it gets warmer. And of course, we're heading into the summer months on the desert. So those barrels that are above ground, if they were to blow like the one that did below ground, we'd have a serious public health effect. Sure. So kitty litter, I mean, that sounds pretty strange to a lot of people. How normal is that to use kitty litter? Is this customary? You know, who, who would have thought we'd be discussing <laughs> kitty litter and nuclear power together? <clears throat> the um, uh, kitty litter is routinely used in la nuclear laboratories to pick up uh, spills. And the old kitty litter was made with something called diatomaceous earth. Um, but the way it absorbed the moisture was different than the new modern organic kitty litter. The new modern one uses corn. And when the corn absorbed the moisture, the nitrogen inside got very, very volatile. Um, almost like in these old movies, when you see somebody holding nitroglycerin, any shake will cause it to be disturbed. Well, that's what's happened to these canisters that have the organic kitty litter. Yeah. They've got to go back, they've got to go back through and find all of those and isolate them and then figure out how to change the litter. Well, that makes me wonder, and we certainly know the uses of kitty litter. If you've ever you know, been in a garage, you can use it to sop up oil and that kind of thing. But why wasn't there a test done? If you're switching from one substance to another, it seems like there would be a protocol, sort of an automatic thing that you would make sure it's fine to use. Yeah, you know, most chemists would understand why the old kitty litter was terrific. Uh, because it had the ability to suck out these nitrates in a different way than the corn. But it looks to me like a purchasing manager and perhaps uh, uh, somebody with an environmental consciousness just saw kitty litter and replaced the, the old traditional way of doing things with a more modern and a more dangerous way of doing things without ever asking the chemists if um. it made any sense.